Hello Miss Kids, it's Cupcake Kami Summer here. Welcome to Taobao Haul Unboxing, the Handbow Edition. <laughs> there are some other bits in there. Not just headbows, but it's mainly headbows. A box full of headbows. Because you can't have too many headbows. So let me try and get into this monstrosity somehow. I repeat, what is it with people from China and tape? Although at least this one's sort of going. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was surprisingly easy for a Taobao order. Right. <clears throat> as much as I'd love to go through things in well, according to shop I got them from. A, I can't remember all the shop's names. And B, I'm just going with how things have been packaged. And first, it's a girlism tote bag. Seeing as I was already making a Taobao order, I thought let's get an issue of girlism, which lo and behold, here it is, the latest issue of Girlism. Do you know what? I might as well just start off with the non the non headbow things. Then I got a pair of Mufish tights. I already have these, I got them last time I was doing the Taobao order, but I had them in red. I asked for them to be navy. They kind of look black. Almost is very, very dark navy. But hey oh, they'll still come in useful, they were cheap. Aha, okay, now we come to some headbows. Okay, so then I got, they're exactly the same pair. I think they're actually from Rose Maria. Red Maria, sorry. Now these two headbows, which are slightly sweet, with white lace and dangly bits. One's pink, because I needed that, and one is Saks slash powder blue although they kind of named it grape like this color they said is grape so I was pretty worried about what would I get luckily the shopping service I use now which is um, Taobao Trends they send you a picture of everything that you get so you can check whether it's what you wanted Let's get this baby out. It's decent material. Lace is kind of her, uh, but it's a head bow, so you're not really going to be feeling that off. The stitching at the back here is quite obvious. But you can move it on the headband, so if you prefer. Side bow, you could do that. Ooh, I can't get it back down. There we are. Or if you prefer a center, you can do that. Let's try it on. It sits quite well. It's quite comfy. I'm worried that it might be sliding. It's dangly bit here. It looks a tiny bit short, so it makes it look awkward. But it's not detachable, so live with it. I'm hoping it'll match some of my awkward sax things, we'll see. And just for the sake of it, let's get a closer look at the pink one, which is exactly the same. This is quite a baby pink. It's not quite as light as it's showing up, but it is quite a baby pink, it's lighter than what I was hoping it would match. But hey ho, everyone who's into Sweet Lolita, knows that you never get your pinks to match and if you do it's a damn miracle and then they sent me a little freebie 
in a Hello Kitty bag. Oh. <laughs> and it's a tiny booklet which looks wonky and it's this weird it's this weird green fabric with pink florals on it which makes you kind of go what? it's not something I've seen in their shop so either someone's been making these specifically to throw in as freebies in which case man you got some weird ass fabric or it's something they had previously and it just wasn't selling and can't blame them but it's free Aha. then I got a pack of headphones from a shop whose name I genuinely can't remember but if these are good, I probably will be buying from them again because that's some cute stuff. I needed some green things because I recently got um, some green Lolita bits. So <laughs> I got this green headball. They kind of tried to imitate Innocent World style. This is the side. It looks. <laughs> when you look at it like this, you go, "Oh, did your child make that?" <laughs> it looks a bit um, pathetically made, <laughs> but in a sort of this is almost adorable way. However, I can see the point of having this part wider than the headband. I just feel like this part sits funky. <laughs> I look like a Christmas present. But it's not terrible. And the headband has teeth so it shouldn't be sliding. So it's a, it's alright. In a similar style but slightly better made, I got this gold headband with lovely dangly stars. Because the gold headband that I got off brand, let's face it, is pathetic. It doesn't really go with Lolita. And sometimes you just need a bit of gold. The headband feels kind of tight, so I'm worried that it might snap. But it sits rather alright. I quite like it. This is totally cute. They had all of these in all kinds of colours. So, so yeah. Win there, this is a nice one. Then I got two of the same style, but not only are they different colours, they have different charms on them. They're both made with grow grain ribbon, and it's this sort of side bow. This one, as you can see, it's crown on it. It's a, uh, it's it's wine, that's for sure. The they used black thread to sew these pearls on, which is kind of awkward. But I got them primarily to match British Crown, because that's the, almost exactly the style that the AP bow for British Crown was like. This is quite cute. Again, I need a different hairstyle, but it's nice and almost casual. Gosh, I'm not used to seeing myself with a head body style. But definitely like it. As I said, they are different colours, but every colour had a different charm on it. And not all of them were themes that I would have liked. But red one, total winner. And then I got the same one in navy. And the charm on it is this cute envelope. So even though this is a definite dark navy, A, the black thread for pearls looks um, better, and B, because of that letter charm, envelope charm, I'm hoping I could use it with um, Secret Airmail from Sweet Kitty by Baby. They're two totally different shades of blue, but mm, let's, let's try it, I think that could be nice. And again, I like, I like this style. 
I think I might be getting more of this. And I must say, those charms are quite sizable. Like they were not, they're not skimping on charms. And what fell out of that same bag is a freebie bag. The freebie bag contains your typical star clip. Well, I thought that was two separate ones, but no, it's one star clip in silver. It's like your typical foamy thing. Don't have a lot of silver, but it's not the worst freebie to have. I'm sure I could find some use for it. Thank you so much. Ah. Then we come to things from Cutie Creator, which, as you may or may not know, is my absolute favourite when it comes to head bows. So I got this one in white with gold bits on it, which again is quite, quite a copy of Innocent World style, but more affordable. It's all right. I kind of feel bridal, which is weird. Well, now I feel like I've got cat ears. But it's a nice style. It's all right quality fabrics, I mean ribbons. But it looks nice, it's versatile. And it's QC creator, you kind of know what you're getting with them. I've, so far, I've, you know, touch wood. So far I've not had a terrible thing from them. So let's hope that continues. This time we're up in plastic. Here we have another Cutie Creator bow. This time dark green to match my greens. can't see that very well, but this over here is a rose. Dark green velveteen for your more classic wintery looks. Velveteen is actually quite soft, I like it. Very nice, yeah. Of the two green bows, now that I've looked, I think this one's a far better investment, but hey, sometimes you're gonna take a risk. And then I got a head bow that I already have, put in two other colours. I'm not sure if you remember this. I have this red side bow with a little bit of lacy frill down here, which I always get tons of compliments on. So I thought, do you know what? I like it. It's a versatile style. Let's get not one, but two more of it. Lighting's terrible. So I have a navy version and a sax blue, although this is more of a light pastel blue. I'll try the light one on. But they are essentially exactly the same as the red one. Same kind of lacy frill, same kind of lace trim there, same grow green ribbon, same cameo. Although they have matched the cameo colours to the head bow. It's very soft, very lovely. If anyone's after a more classic, elegant um, kind of side bow, I'm totally recommending these. I'm pretty sure there were some other colours which I may end up getting. Which means that this should be the only thing that is in head bows, but is still for the head. And what I have here are two tiaras. First one is gold and pearl. Quite simple, quite classic. Both of them have this. So I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to thread some sort of elastic through there or whether this is bobby pins. 
no, I can't release it like this after supporting that. So I assume there must be some sort of room for elastic bobby pins for it to not do this essentially. But hey, I am so impressed. I wanted a tiara since I was a little kid and now I have it. And it's quite sturdy, it's really well made. And hell is in this regal. Still pearl, still gold. But this time we have fake rubies on there. Holy mother of tiaras. Ah, this one's smaller, it's tighter. So that could give me a headache. Yeah, it might have to sit slightly further up, but because it's tighter, it shouldn't slide off so much. I don't want to take it off, I'm not going to take it off. And last bit, coming back to things that are not head bows in this head bow edition of Tarbar Hall. Most of these are samples of various Korean um, cosmetics, so ignore them. But I totally forgot that I also got a hair clip and a sparkly one at that. It's a little tiny dangly moon, which again is gold, but not that, he, not that my lighting shows it off. The clip on it has this little head thing. So you have to snap it through, but I can already see that sliding off the hair. Oh, oh, Ali, my words then. It's not sliding. Huh. I almost didn't buy it. Disorder altogether was something like $120? Thereabouts, not including the shipping. So I was trying to, to cut down on costs as much as possible and this hair clip almost got the chop. And now I'm glad that it didn't. I think that would look so cute with Crystal Dream Carnival. Poof. So that's everything. I've not counted how many bits there are, but there's probably loads. Overall, I'm happy with everything, even the bits that I thought were a bit awkward sitting head bows or the weird ass um, freebie tiny bow. So having said this, thank you so much for sticking through this Taba haul, the head bow edition. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, hopefully, I don't know, maybe I'll convince you to get yourself a matching tiara or maybe I've convinced you to get any of these lovely head bows. And in the meantime, thank you so much for sticking through it. Please like this video, comment on it, subscribe to the channel. And as usual, I'm encouraging every one of you to check out my blog, Cupcakes and Unicorns, where you'll see more Lolita content and you'll probably see some of these in action at some point. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!